Good morning and welcome to our Good Friday service. Though apart, we are still together as we gather in this way at this time for worship. We're going to begin our worship today by singing the song You Chose the Cross, which is the first song on your song sheet. Jesus. You meet us with a love that will never let us go. You utter words of mercy and forgiveness that override the hurts and heal our brokenness. You offer new beginnings where we had expected only dead ends. We give you thanks and praise for the mystery of your suffering love that gives us light. We give you thanks and praise that you know our weakness and hear our prayers. We give you thanks and praise that all our dying and living is held in your good keeping. 
now we know all is grace, all is gift. We give you thanks and praise.
Lord, today, like no other day, reveals to us the truth that you are Lord. In the sacrifice on the cross, in the words you spoke, Throughout your life on earth, all of it comes to this point and we see revealed that you are the Lord of Lords. You are our Lord. Amen. Our scripture today comes from Mark chapter 15, verses 22 to 41. Then they brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha! You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days. Save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way the chief priests along with the scribes were also mocking him. Among themselves saying he saved others he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah the King of Israel come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three o'clock in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Aloi, Aloi, lama sabatini, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he is calling for Elijah. But someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come down to take him. When Jesus then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, truly, this man was God's son. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James, the younger, and of Joseph, and Salome. These used to follow him and provide for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. In these words, may we hear the word God has for us today. Truly, this was the Son of God, proclaimed by a centurion during doing the bidding of an oppressive regime, believed by the women who gathered around the cross, unable to leave Jesus, even though witnessing his agony was killing their soul. The Son of God, who had spoken of his impending suffering and death, breathed his last and died. And the truth was revealed. Truly, this was the Son of God. Mark tells the Jesus story in such a way that Jesus is never fully revealed 
until at this point, the cross. There's always a mystery in Mark about who he really is until the cross. Jesus is fully revealed when all the questions are answered. Once Jesus is handed over in the Garden of Gethsemane, he, no long, he is no longer active, but everything is done to him. The trial, the mockery, the crucifixion. And yet, here we have a Roman centurion out of the words, truly this man was God's son. What had he seen Jesus do? and achieve? Possibly nothing. His judgment was based on observing Jesus through his travel from trial to the cross. Through the statement of this Roman centurion, what is conveyed is that the crucifixion was not his human misfortune. It was the manifestation of all that he is. His humanity and divinity. And its power to change people and the truth is revealed. These words of the centurion though do leave us with a challenge. Was or is. How do we see it? Does what we observe this day remain as a past tense? Or is it a present tense and active in our lives that we are forgiven, called people? And when we see Jesus on the cross, we don't just acknowledge that he was the Son of God, but that he is the Son of God the one whose sacrifices continues to save and transform lives. Amen. Let us pray. We're going to be praying for others here and I'm going to allow after each intercession a short silence. Lord, we come to you this day, the day when the truth about you is revealed, the day where we can say not only was, were you the Son of God, but that you are the Son of God, that you continue to save and transform lives. So we come now and we pray for the church throughout the world. Pray for the church leaders across the world and all servants of the church. We pray for the Jewish people, the first to hear the word of God. We pray for those who do not share our faith in Jesus. Christ. We pray for God's creation.
We pray for those who serve in public office. Pray for those in any need. We pray for all afflicted by the coronavirus. And we pray together the prayer that Christ gave to us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our final song for this morning is the song that I've been singing since I was in youth group day. There is a Redeemer. <laughs> bless you by acknowledging that by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Sunday morning is going to be a sunrise service and we're hoping to actually do it on a beach and um, that may or may not be a successful effort. But we thank you for being and joining with us this morning and we pray that you have a blessed and holy rest of this Easter period. Goodbye.